Better than steroids? Well, we want to talk about growth hormone, your own production of growth hormone, responsible for your muscle growth, for you feeling like a beast. And what if I told you, you don't need any expensive injections or nothing. It's easy remedies, lifestyle factors, simple tricks, how you can increase your growth hormone naturally yourself without the side effects, without expensive money, without these dangers which are coming with maybe injecting it, right? Let's talk about this. Ladies and gentlemen, some of them are completely for free. And one of them, I will reveal it in the end of the video, will increase or can increase your growth hormone production, your own body's growth hormone production by a thousand percent. That is a 10x. It supercharges your muscle growth. It torches fat. It makes you feel like a beast. It's better than steroids, but 100% natural and risk-free. Sounds too good to be true? Well, we will be deep diving into the scientific literature and I want to tell you exactly how you can produce this anabolic powerhouse yourself. We are going to unlock how to crank this up naturally. So let's get straight into it. So number one, and this maybe doesn't come with a surprise, but I will get more powerful and more surprising as we are going on in that video is high intensity exercise training. Picture this, you're crushing a hit session, right? Or lifting heavy and boom, your growth hormone explodes. In a 2021 meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials on resistance training, folks saw an IGF-1 insulin-like growth factor, GH wingman basically, jump significantly after 16 weeks, boosting muscle repair and your fat burn. And one randomized control trial with athletes showed the growth hormone levels surging by 300%. 300%! Just from HIT, would you have thought that a cardio exercise can do that? Well, it's certainly not marathon running, which does the opposite. It's HIT. It's like flipping Keeping your body's growth switch basically entertainingly exhausting but also rewarding. Aim for 20 to 30 minutes of sprints or compound exercises like squats three times a week. Don't have to overcomplicate it, don't have to do too much. So next, this one is really important and that might come with a surprise. Optimize your sleep. Sleep is heavily related to growth hormone. So basically a 2022 human trial disrupted slow wave sleep in participants slashing growth hormone pulses by 40%. Conversely, quality shut eye releases growth hormone in waves. So if it goes down by 40%, that means good sleep, if you have bad sleep, can increase it by almost 100%. In fact, I'm leaving you a video which is popping up on top of the screen how you can improve your sleep quality. Make sure you watch it if your sleep is not good. Up to 70% of daily output happens while you actually sleep. So a pro Pro tip is seven to nine hours of sleep nightly. A dark room, no screens, no nothing. And of course, watching the video I just recommended you before. It's the lazy way of leveling up. It doesn't take any additional work. You just sleep longer, you sleep better, right? Who knew that snoring could actually increase your muscle growth? So number three, sauna sessions. Everyone who follows me knows I love sauna, right? I'm doing sauna almost every single day. He things up literally. Actually, in a classic 1987 study, human study, this was actually made before I was even born, 15 minutes in a just 72 degrees Celsius sauna, high growth hormone from 2 to 5 micrograms per liter. That's 150 percent spike. And I personally prefer to do 85 to 90 percent. This is supposed to be more powerful also. So make sure you're not going into a 70 degree sauna. You will have at least 85 degrees at seating height or more. And uh, that will most likely um, spike your growth hormones even more. In a more recent data, it actually suggested that saunas can amp it up 200 to 500 percent over time by stressing your body positively in a controlled and short manner like in a sauna. Think of it as a sweaty spa part that builds your resilience. So as I already said, you should hit 80 to 100 degrees Celsius for approximately 20 minutes. 
Stay hydrated, very important. Two to three times weekly is great. You can even do it daily, but do stay hydrated. Listen to your body, right? That is very important. Now, number four, arginine supplementation. We are talking about a cheap but powerful supplement. This natural amino acid from foods like nuts or as a supplement is a growth hormone ally. A 2022 systematic review and meta-analysis of randomized control trials found that L-arginine in a dose between 5 to 10 grams modestly boosts your growth hormone, especially post-fast or with exercise. One trial actually noted a 100% rise in healthy adults. It's not magic, but stacked with habits. It's a game changer, safe, natural and below like $20 a bottle, right? With arginine, you have to see that you are not having some like viruses or so in remission because as far as I heard, it can increase the risk of them popping back up. Of course, you have arginine in foods, but if you are supplementing that beyond these levels, there might be some association. So if you have whatever shingles in remission or so, make your own research before that, right? Number five, protein eating. I mean, that sounds like, okay, really, Chris? Listen, guys, listen, there's a caveat to this. You should fuel like a pro and in a 2011 randomized controlled trials, a 30% protein diet, so eggs, fish, grass-fed, grass-finished, pasture-raised meat, increased 24-hour growth hormone circulation by enhancing profiles while curbing our hormones. That is interesting. And the statistics actually show that it can elevate growth hormone responses by 20 to 30 percent versus the carb-heavy meals, right? I'm not a fan of carb-heavy meals. I'm not saying carbs are not important. They are not essential, but they can have, of course, a purpose. But ditch the sugar crashes. Low refined carbohydrates keep insulin low letting growth hormone thrive aim for 1.6 gram per kilogram body weight that is a good ballpark number you can do two grams you can do less like it really depends on your body but 1.6 gram have been showing to be a good ballpark number per kilogram body weight so if you weigh example 100 kilograms that would be 160 grams of protein per day if you weigh 50 kilograms you're a woman watching that that would be around 80 grams of protein per day these aren't gimmicks. They are lifestyle upgrades backed by randomized control trials and meta-analysis. I leave, as always, all the sources down below, helping everyone from young guns to wise veterans to feel unstoppable, right? So, quick closing shot. The big reveal I teased in the beginning. You really earned it and if you watched here until the very end. The number one, growth hormone, skyrocketer. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. It's intermittent fasting. In a 2024 randomized control trial, a 24-hour only water fast boosts your growth hormone by 5 to 14 times. I'm doing extended fast sometimes. I'm doing intermittent fast. Sometimes I'm not fasting at all. It's the switch which makes the power. But if you're fasting just 24 hours already, can increase the growth hormone production by 5 to 14 times by your own body. That is crazy. Independent of any weight loss, one trial actually found with 47 folks, they saw a five-fold spike. It's evolution's gift, basically. God's gift to us. Fast 16 to 24 hours, a few times a week if you want. Uh, but of course, consult your doctor first. I'm not a doctor, as you know, right? Combined with these other steroid-like gains, you, you, you're really gonna be very, very powerful. If you do all of these things, this is a powerful symbiotic mix of lifestyle factors which can increase your muscle building significantly. Let me know what you think about that. Share this video with your friends. And ladies and gentlemen, watch this very important video and subscribe to the channel right here. And as always, guys, as always, bye, bye.